Welcome to Board Game Archaeology, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're playing the Mr. Ed game. Mr. Ed, the Talking Horse by Parker Brothers. The TV show is 1961. The game is 1962. Again, same year I was born, just like the last game. Um, it's made for ages 8 to 12 and 2 to 4 players. The goal of the game is to get three cards of your episode and make it to the center of the Mr. Ed board. And the game comes with a nicely illustrated Mr. Ed box and a nice game board. It could be a little more decorative, but it does the job. And you get, so I had to steal the uh, pieces from our Happy Days game. So the yellow, green, red, and yellow, you're supposed to have four of those. This game did not come with any of those. And it's supposed to come with four dice. So I took one from the Happy Days one and I had one. It does have all the cards, and the cards, the big cards, are the uh, TV show cards. So when you start the game, each player gets a TV show card, and it tells you what episode of the show it is, one, between 1 through 7. So, Hunter? I have number 6, Ed the Hunter. And I have number 1, The Contest. So, next thing we do is we start playing the game. And from there, you would roll. All right, and how I, how I would go. So I would go, and I'll be green here. So I would go one, two, and I land on a Mr. Ed's face. So I would take two cards. And there's kind of, uh, you rather get show cards. So it's, you know, you got TV show number four, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him to know that because I'm looking for six. So four, meaningless to me. We can trade, and, that, and we'll go into that in a second. But there's also things like move four spaces, which you would use right away. So I put that in the discard, and I'd move forward four spaces. Now, the cool thing with Mr. Ed is you can go either way. You can go right or left. You can't backtrack. So if you start going right, you go right. If you go left, you go left. So you can go either way, and it allows you to hit more Mr. Eds, because really what it's about is getting as many as these to get the number of shows, and once you have those three numbers, you're flying. And um, there's also these little cheat areas on the side that if you land right here, you don't even have to be by exact count. You can go in and land on it and uh, roll one, three, or five. If you roll that, you get two cards. If you don't, you basically just lose your turn. Yeah, and other than the caveat of you can't occupy spaces with other characters. And if there's one in front and one in back and you're in the middle, you lose a turn. Um, other than that, and the occasional you know, back four, a lot of it is pretty straightforward. It really is. It's all about landing on Mr. Ed's and getting all those cards. And once you get the cards, you come to the corner spaces that have arrows and horseshoes that take you to the Mr. Ed talking horse stable. It's the stable. That's right. I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a super, super simple game based on a really cool favorite show of mine. I was born that year, but I still remember growing up to repeats of Mr. Ed all the time. And it was just one of my favorite shows. Yeah, and again, you know, a minimal design, but it all works really well, and I, I think it's a pretty good game. Yeah, definitely something uh, for the age bracket it's made for. Um, I think today you could go a little bit, you know, some more advanced younger kids could probably play this too. It's a simple game, and I think this would be a, a playable game to keep around. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. You can also find us on Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.